Hi, good morning dear friends. So today actually I would like to share some of uh, my experience. Recently I've been to Canada and I got opportunity to meet some of our old students and also I get opportunity to meet some of the college representatives and also I get opportunity to interact with some international uh, department experts so on based upon this discussion i have concluded out certain points and i come to know about some of the students they are getting difficulty to get the post study work permit some of the students are getting difficulty to get the permanent residency and some students are deported from the canada so this kind of news are not making happy at all when i have discussed and try to find out and figure out the what kind of reasons why the students are getting this kind of troubles so i have found few things one is the students those who are getting admission into spp participating college and then they are changing to a private college that's the one of the reason second is the students are working more than 20 hours third is the student are dropping their semester in between fourth students are changing the college and students are changing the course so we have already informed to you you have to stick with the rules and regulation that has been set by the government of canada and you don't have to uh, break the rules okay that will protect you significantly uh, to get these kind of troubles in future i would like to share uh, some of the stories with you one of our student he is a very intelligent student he has passed all the three pvc exams but he had made a mistake initially he went to canada for spp participating college he done his one year study in spp participating college and the second year he had changed to the private college only for the sake of couple of thousand dollars to save in a year tuition fees that will cost him a lot because now he is struggling to get the post study work permit so this kind of troubles will happen one of the student uh, he has dropped a couple of subjects in first semester and um, now what is the situation actually when she was studying in the second semester she has dropped the one subject that subject was the prerequisite of the uh, fourth semester subject so when you are not completing your for example chemistry one you are not allowed to take chemistry two so in that situation now after completion of your four semester still you have a two uh, subjects left so when you are taking two subjects you are not considered as a full time student so this is the big problem so make sure when you are taking a subject off always you have to find out the conclusion what kind of future uh, problems can raise on based upon the decision third important thing is the students normally they are what they are doing is they are studying one semester after one semester they're taking a break of one semester and then they start studying the second semester so if you are doing this kind of mistakes you will be in a trouble in future so <clears throat> finally i would like to give you a very uh, safe and successful career in canada for that you have to follow five most important principles don't change the college don't change the course don't go to private college don't drop the semesters and don't work more than 20 hours in a week okay so follow all these rules and you will be safe and successful in your future thank you very much have a good time in canada thank you bye bye